guys, Jamie here, keeping it coy. Welcome back to the channel, and if you're new, welcome. I hope to earn your subscription today. Um, in today's video, it's just a real quick one. Um, haven't been able to do much on the uh, on the pond. We're still just at the position where the uh, the pump is plumbed in to the drum. I finally got hold of some PTFE tape. Uh, couldn't find any in any of the local DIY stores for love nor money. It's been sold out for months apparently. So, uh, but I've got some, so I can get me uh, pump now back attached to the uh, to the drum. But uh, yeah, just in today's video, we've got a special visitor um, that's coming at the end of the video, and the reason for his visit today is because of a problem that I discovered with the Awazi drums. Now, there's nothing wrong with the drums themselves, except for all their inlets and outlets are a funny size. They're like a, a push fit four inch. I mean, the rubber boot they supply with the drum, um, the, the like end cap, if you're not using one of the inlets, um, fits perfectly, snugly, beautifully. But any other four inch that you can buy off the shelf, and I mean any, when I was down uh, Japan Koi Imports, me and Mark tried six or seven different four inch rubber boots from 90s to straight connectors. Um, reducers, not one of them fitted, they were so so loose. So uh, on one of my videos, um, another YouTuber that uh, also has a pond business said, tell him the problem, work it out together and uh, he will contact his supplier to see if we can come up with a solution. Well, I sent him a short video, not on YouTube but just reiterating what the problem was um, and what I found out so far which somebody in a previous video said that's because they are push fittings um, so we sent I sent the video to the YouTuber that will be here later he then sent that video and his version off to his supplier and he believes he's come up with a solution so he's bringing that solution. Sorry for the shaky camera. I've got this one uh, trying to jump on my lap while I'm recording. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so he's turning up later, hopefully with a uh, solution. And uh, we're going to give it a go um, and see if it works. I've also had a couple of deliveries uh, this week. So I'm putting them on this video as well. Um, I hope you enjoy. Let's uh, spin you around and show you what deliveries I've got. Hey guys, so yeah, before we go outside, I've actually had some uh, deliveries turn up. This one arrived uh, yesterday, and I've also got another one that I'm going to show you as well. So uh, without further ado, let me open this bad boy up and uh, show you what I've been sent. And people wonder why I show you things when they're already out of the box. <laughs> may have to edit this shorter I can see up which way round it's wrapped right that's it not enough chop it up are we in now are we in mm, nope definitely well packaged if this is what I think it is certainly wrap things up well. It's a good shape. I'm sure uh, a few of the other YouTubers that are watching this video might know what is in here. But you won't know who it's from until I get into it. It is what I thought it was. Whoop, whoop. Thank you, Mr. Sebers Koi Pond. My second proper channel mug. 
If uh, if you've not seen uh, Seba's koi pond, go check him out. I'll put a link in the uh, in the video description down below. But yeah, so I've now got two channel mugs. I've got a Skeggy pond mug, and I've got a Seba's pond mug. So uh, yeah, go check him out. Um, so the other delivery already unwrapped it because it was also wrapped really really well. Let's get that out of the way. Uh, might have to expand on this video, but what we have here is my new koi sock. Let me uh, extend my camera a bit. So yeah, I got a, a lovely koi sock. It's absolutely silky smooth compared to mine. Um, this is going to be much, much better. It's not a waterproof one. But uh, it, if you're quick enough, it does hold water. Um, so it's apparently the same one that uh, Vince uses. Um, so he tells me. But this, guys, is from Dorset Koi Pond. Um, again, if you've found his channel um, and you need anything like nets or equipment, um, drop him a message. Um, he, he, again, he, he's someone that is looking into... Uh, getting a website but uh yeah this this koi sock I, it, he was recommended to me by vince um for koi socks so i thought i'd give him a shout because i was in the market for a better one um and i really like it haven't yet used it because uh by the time i've received it i'd already moved all the uh the bigger fish about and for a five inch fry it really would be pointless <laughs> but uh but yeah so uh check out dorset's uh videos dorset koi pond um and uh yeah if you, if you need anything like this then uh, obviously give them a shout um right so without further ado we'll take you outside and we'll uh we'll show you what uh we're doing out there so here we are back at the drum now as you've probably seen in my previous videos this uh or, or the inlets as you can see by the amount of jubilee clips i've got on my uh rubber boots None of the actual pressure pipe fittings or four inch rubber boots fit these very well, as you can see. Um, this is on the old drum um, and it's the same problem, obviously, with the rubber boot, as you saw in a, in a previous video. I've got a visitor today. Let's go and say hello. Hello. Mr. Skeggy Koi Pond um, has come up with an awesome solution. Told him the problem, he said, leave it with me and we'll see if we can find a solution this is a push fitting to turn the black waste into pressure pipe six pound bit of kit skeggy's going to get these in stock so if anybody wants them people with drums lee hatfield um i don't know if uh, phil from telford koi pond maybe had the same same problem but if you ever develop any leaks from any of your uh, rubber boots if you've gone rubber boot all you need is one of these, as you can see, that's a nice snug fit. I'm not going to push it on all the way because uh, they're then a pain to get back off. But it does go on all the way because we've already tried it and tried to take it off once. And when that is then on, you will see you can either rub a boot straight to it, or as you can see, that's also a nice snug fit. So you could solvent weld straight to the drum. Most people wouldn't do that because you never know, you might need to move house or move the drum in the future um, but yeah even the rubber boot well need to loosen the jubilee clips to get that on there but as you can see it's now a, a nice snug fit no wiggle no wobble so yeah just a little sleeve solvent weld that as i say you put these on all the way and they just don't want to come off very easy so sorry about the old shaky camera but uh, yeah that is a great solution to a small problem and um, so lee if you're watching this video buddy and you want some of these contact skeggy koi pond and uh, he'll be able to sort you out some there you go and as he's just just corrected me as well it's skeggy pond not skeggy koi pond but just to show you from this angle as well that I'm not going to push it in all the way because I'll never get it out again. But it's a real nice snug fit all the way around so you can glue that straight into a proper nightie if you wanted or a straight connector or whatever you like. So yeah, cracking fix and uh, I will be getting a couple. 
stop it uh, leaking anywhere. Obviously, as we all know, I haven't actually got to uh, water test it yet as uh, the pond is still empty. But uh, window has been ordered today, so it will be here within three weeks time. So uh, I will catch you all later. Yeah, so obviously uh, that's uh, a, a bit of a bugger to, uh, to fix. And some people seem to think maybe it's just black waste. Um, but uh, yeah, as you can see there, this pipe, that 110 mil black waste. It is not that, it doesn't fit in there. Out now, and uh, this is my current tent 110 mil black waste. This was cut off that, and even the the fittings for that look. It's just so so wobbly. You couldn't couldn't solve them well that on there. There's just too too much gap. Look, you can even hear it. It's got way too much gap so it's not 110 either so i can only assume it's what someone uh, did tell me that it is a, a push weights fitting so uh yeah that that um sleeve that uh skeggy bought round is uh is going to do the trick nicely um that will then allow me to fix my four inch rubber boots on there without all the all the movement and wiggle um i mean using the other end that's about right when you go out. It's very, it's just very strange. The uh, the boot that they supplied that was on there says four inch. Um, in fact, let me snap back to you and I'll show you it. Yeah, this is the boot that came with the drum. Clearly, clearly states four inch on there. So it's a four inch rubber boot. And as you can see, loose as anything use the one they gave you can see the jubilee clip look is not tight got loads of room in there look stick that on there no wiggle movement at all not not a tiny bit and you can still see that the jubilee clip is is not tight but yet there's no movement on that rubber boot in fact it's a good fit a very good fit yeah any other four inch it really is a good fit. Come on, off. There we go. Any other four inch rubber, as you can clearly see, is not a good fit. So that is what baffled me. So that little cap that will go on there will then uh, turn it into a lovely four incher. So I hope that helps some people. If anyone's uh, struggling and has the same issue as this, that's a good fix. Catch you in a bizzle. Right then guys, um, again, thanks all uh, very, very much for uh, for watching. So yeah, three massive shout outs to the guys uh, that I've mentioned in the video. You've got Dorset Koi Pond. Thank you very, very much for, uh, for the Koi Sock. Really appreciate it. It wasn't free. I did purchase it, but uh, I love it. Absolutely love it. Can't wait to, uh, to try it. And I'll obviously be getting the pond finished within the next couple of weeks. The window has been ordered, so... When it gets here, we'll get that finished and then I'll be able to use it. So massive thank you for that. Um, Skeggy Pond, thank you for coming down. Bless his heart. He, he actually stopped in on the way home from the airport because a lot of you may know he'd uh, just gone off to Denmark. So uh, yeah, on, on the way home from the airport, stopped in on the way, bless him. Um, and he, he chucked that in his car uh, before he actually went to Denmark. But yeah, it fits absolutely perfectly um so uh so lee um if, if you still end up developing leaks on them uh inlets and outlets mate give either me or uh skeg skeggy pond um a message and we'll uh we'll sort them out for you um but yeah just solvent weld them straight onto the inlets and outlets and it turns them to pucker four inches um so you can either pressure pipe straight onto it with more solvent weld or your rubber boot will just fit nicely. Um, so yeah, anyone else with the Oasi drum, if you are getting leaks, um, as, as you've seen in the video, we have got the perfect solution to fix that. So give Skeggy Pond a shout, and if you can't find Skeggy Pond, give me a shout and I'll point you in the right direction. The links for, for those two are down in the description, and there's also one more link down in the description, 
if I can grab it without spilling it. So a uh, massive shout out to my uh, second channel mug, Seba's Pond. Probably backwards to you guys, but uh, yeah, I've got my, uh, not actually got a coffee in it today. A lot of you might go, Ugh. but I've got my Bovril in there today. Like a bit of Bovril in the evenings. So, yeah, Sebas, thank you very, very much for my uh, second Koi mug. Um, obviously, I still have the one from Wayside Koi. Not a channel mug, but a lovely Koi mug. That That is my everyday mug um, when I'm out by the Koi ponds. But, uh, yeah, got, got a Chris in each one. And I do love a bit of Bovril. Right. So again, guys, thank you so, so much for watching. Thank you to all my subscribers. If you haven't yet subscribed, there's a subscribe button just under the video. It's absolutely free of charge um, and it will just let you know um, when I'm uh, uploading videos and whatnot. If you hit the all bell notification as well, your phone or tablet will actually send you a, a ping notification to let you know uh, one of my videos has just popped up. So massive thank you. Take care, everyone. And we'll catch you all on the next one.